Good morning, guys. I'm Mohan. <laughs> Today is November 12th, and like Lucas said, we have a little bit of snow on the ground, finally. Usually, sometimes we don't get snow until like January. <laughs> sometimes November, sometimes December, but we, we haven't had a white Christmas in forever. And we finally got a little bit of snow, which is so weird because yesterday in my town, it was literally 66 degrees outside. They were calling for rain and snow. We were like, there's no way that it's going to rain or well, that it's going to snow after getting that hot. It did. The roads aren't covered, but we got a little bit in the grass. It's 7.04, so I'm getting ready to take Molly to school, and I thought I would just do a day in the life. I haven't vlogged in a while, and I wasn't planning on vlogging for... I wasn't going to vlog for a while anymore, just because... I thought I would just stick to like cleaning and stuff, but I feel like vlogs, you actually get to know the person to where everyone loves cleaning videos and like grocery hauls and stuff. But I just feel like vlogs, when you watch their vlogs, you actually get to know them. You get to know their family and their kids and everything. And as you can tell, I put my hair extensions back in. Um, I'm at the stage to where I'm nervous to go get my hair done. I don't want to go get my hair done because I'm too afraid after my last experience. I've never been like that. I'm at the stage to where it needs it. But my sister is taking the whole ending week of November off when Molly's off for school. I was thinking about maybe going and getting it done then. Don't mind if I still have them, the lines on my forehead, my beanie is too tight. I'm all for the snow, but I did not realize how long it takes to scrape a car at all. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know. Yeah, David worked last year during this time, so I don't know why. I wouldn't know how long it takes to scrape a car, but the first car scraping of the year. Eleanor is on the floor playing around, but she's starting to get fussy. My cat's bugging me for food and water, so I need to get that taken care of. Molly was happy when she went outside and she saw all the snow. In the morning times, so like I said, it's 8:19, and it was a trash day, so I had to get that taken out, but I had to bring Ellie over here. But usually in the morning times, she is the first one to get fed. When you see yourself? Yeah. But she's the first one to get fed and changed. Um, we got home really late last night after going to the grocery store. This little one needs a bath and so doesn't Lucas. Molly had a quick shower last night because she had to get clean for school. But we have to bath the, both the kids and get them clean. And then I just have a few chores around the house. So after this, there'll probably just be a montage of cleaning and breakfast and stuff. And then I got to put away laundry. And then I have two videos I'm going to try to edit. I might try to get one up today if not then I'll just get it up tomorrow. But are you hungry? Want to say hi? Huh? You want to see yourself? Huh? Say hi. Boo. Hi, <laughs> boo. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and get this one fed while she's still happy.
right now. One woke up. Lucas woke her up helping me put away the groceries because I helping me put away the laundry because he doesn't understand when he runs across the floor and she's in her bouncer that still wakes her up. So she's really fussy. But while my video was buffering and loading to edit, I just went ahead and folded and put away the clothes. So all my cleaning and laundry is done today. I have one load that I could go ahead and wash, but I'm not going in the mess with it today. Lucas has speech tomorrow, so I'll probably just tidy up the house again tomorrow and then wash and put that laundry away. But I'm finished with my grocery haul, and it's saved right now, so why it saves. Lucas is watching his show right now. I'm going to go ahead and give her a bath and get her out of her stinky pajamas. I told him you could kick. You couldn't have showed you? Yeah. You chilling? Do you like your bath? Huh, you may see yourself. <gasps> Do you like your bath? What do you think? <laughs> Look at those old toes. Can you kick? Splash, splash, go. up for today which is my Aldi grocery haul if you guys haven't seen it check that out Eleanor is bathed <laughs> so I'm gonna go I ahead and you're your what my bath you're being good or bad bath oh you're being pretty good yeah, <laughs> <laughs> me. I see you <laughs> Ever since I gave Eleanor a bath, she's been playing on the floor, it's so happy. So I'm going to go ahead and do some speech with Lucas, and then you want to take a shower? Look how cool, too You're cool, cold. you're going to be too cold. Before we have to go get Molly, because I don't want, he needs to change his clothes, and I don't want him to go out with wet hair and stuff before we go get Molly. So 12 o'clock, usually, I'm not very hungry, and he's been snacking. I don't know yet. And he's been snacking, so I'll probably make lunch about 1 o'clock. I'm charging my laptop right now. And then after we do speech and probably have some rest time, I am going to finish working on my video for tomorrow. This little one needs her diaper change. I, I put, put a peanut. Pizza. Peanut. Peanut. In a my my bucket. Bucket. I I put put a a carrot 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 in a my my bucket. Bucket. Don't mind that left my fridge open, but it's now 105. I just got Lucas's lunch made. Eleanor is taking a nap. My YouTube video is saving so I can upload and edit. I told him I wanted to go ahead and take him and get a shower, but he wants to watch his TV show for just a little bit. So after he eats lunch, I'm hoping Eleanor will still be asleep. That way I can go ahead and get him in the shower. But this is what he's having for lunch. I just gave him some turkey slices, cheese puffs. I cut some grapes for him and carrots and ranch. So as you can tell, I took out my hair extensions. It's now two o'clock. I've been thinking about this all day. And I know this isn't a big deal, but this is gonna be a rant, so I'm gonna set you guys down. Really, really do. But I am struggling to get this to blend. When I, you can't tell hardly when I'm looking straight at the camera. Yeah. But if you look at the sides or you look at the back, all you can see is a short layer with straight hair and from my side all you can see is this big chunk with straight hair to where it looks like I literally just have this hair with it looks like I have a wig long straight wig one with this thrown over top of it and I'm just I'm so tired of worrying about my hair I know this sounds so dumb because I just 
I know that this is just a rant, but I'm just, I want to open up to you guys because the only people I have to talk to about this is my sister and my husband and my mom. So I want to open up to you guys about this. I'm tired of feeling so bad about this. So I've thought about it. I called my mom. Molly, Mama. it's two o'clock. Yeah, I called my mom and I asked her if she would go with me to watch, help watch the kids at the play place while I go get my hair done. I texted David and I was like, hey, can I please go get my hair done? I'm tired of having this. So right now, straight on, I don't think it looks bad. If it looked like just this, I would not complain at all. I just don't like, there's no like short, short, long like a bob's supposed to. It's just blunt. And then the back's growing out. I have hair right here. So I'm going to go. I'm going to get it cut off. And maybe into a short bob. Whatever the person can do. I hope to God I like it. I'm so tired of having bad hair. And you guys know, if you're a woman, you know that our hair is important to us. So I guess if I don't like it, I'll just hopefully try to clip those extensions back on. So... I will see you guys once I get done getting my hair done. Hey guys, I am back home. What do you guys think? I love it. The lady even told me that I literally had two different hairstyles. That I had basically puppy dog ears, which I did, which was the one length. Mama. And then I had the back. But this is the back now. Hi, dog. Let's go do And I just, I love it. And she thinned it out for me. She textured it. She blended everything. And it turns out the place that I went and got my hair done, closed down. But she gave me the cute little angle that I wanted. And I just love it. And it was $20. Can I tell her I said, I paid $30. Never in my life have I paid $30 for just a haircut. I love it. Especially I told her I cannot wait to style it. If I want to do like a little bun, it does not look bad at all. Before when I did my, like, you guys have saw, like, my last, my clean thing that you guys will see before this. Go check out that haircut. It's 4.30 now. So I'm going to try to get Ellie to take her last evening nap. And then I'm going to jump in the shower because I have hair all over me. But I'm trying to wait till David sees it. Camera high since you just got home. How's school? You have homework, little messy. You can have a little bit of phone time, and there's a snack in the fridge if you want it, and then it's homework, okay? Okay. So, Eleanor took a nap, and then I was able to get a shower, and David Where's came home. Ooh. Molly did her homework and ate a snack yeah. while I was in the shower. Yeah. It's almost 5.30, so I'm going to have Lucas pick up the living room. Ready, set, go. Go. Sorry about the lighting. It's after 7 though. Everyone's done eating. We're just watching AFP on the TV. Lucas actually Mommy fell asleep. <laughs> David's playing on his phone. Molly's awake and hyper. Go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.